Hi, in this video, I'm gonna share with you how I overcame my extreme fear of public speaking. So stay tuned. Hi, I'm Mark Rhodes and welcome back to Massively Improve, the channel that helps you to massively improve through personal development tools, techniques, and ideas that are actually easy to do and more importantly, actually work. How do I know? Because I've used them, I've done them. It's how I've made all the changes in my life, including overcoming an extreme fear of public speaking. Um, <clears throat> how scared was I? Well, I once faked a car accident and smashed up my own car to pretend someone had hit my car so that I couldn't attend a meeting. What actually happened, the way that actually played out, because it sounds a bit bizarre I know, is I was sort of almost like forced to go and do this talk 12 people around the table. I'd have to stand up for about a minute and read something from a sheet, an update at work on what we'd been doing in our office, go to head office, do that. Um, I didn't want to do it, I panicked on the way there, I was desperate to get out of it and then I thought of a great excuse, I'd phone up the office and say someone had hit my car, I've got to wait for the police, I can't make the meeting and then when I got home I realised there's nothing wrong with my car when I go to work in the morning so I had to go out and break the back lights of my car with a hammer to show evidence of this accident that never happened, otherwise I'd get to work and go there's nothing wrong with your car Mark. So that's how scared I was of public speaking, I'd rather smash my car with a hammer than go and do a little talk. Because these days I'll be on stage for an hour, thousands of people in the audience love every minute of it. In fact, when I look down at my stopwatch and see I've got five minutes left in my presentation, I'm disappointed it's going to be over. So what changed? What changed that I went from someone who'd rather smash up their car than do a talk and had dreaded fear to someone who absolutely loves it, never gets nervous, looks forward to it and is bizarrely disappointed when it's over? Well, what changed? I need to go back a little bit. Um, I managed to set up a software company, internet software company, built that very successfully over two, three years, and then sold that business. Um, and after that business sold and I'd achieved that success, I started thinking, well, how did I do it? Now, at this point in time, I still am dead scared of public speaking. I've managed to get out of it. You know, if you want a way to get out of public speaking, like own the business, because nobody can tell you what to do. Um, great avoidance strategy. but. I'd sold the business and I started to think, well, how did I do that? How did I go and achieve that success? And I started thinking about the things that I was really good at. And one of the things I was really good at was actually sales and selling. And I thought, well, why am I so good at sales and selling yet I'm so rubbish and won't do public speaking? What's the difference between these two things? One thing I'm excited about selling, I love selling, I love going to sales meetings but I hate public speaking, as I say, smash up the car rather than do a talk. What's the difference between these two things? Now, as soft and as simple as it might sound, and you're gonna go, it can't be that easy. It is the biggest, biggest thing, believe me, how I was thinking about it. I realized that when I went to a sales meeting, I was thinking about everything going right. I was saying things to myself like, these guys are gonna love our product, love our team, I know we can help their business, this is gonna be a brilliant meeting, I'm sure we're gonna win this. But as soon as somebody would say to me, Mark, will you do a talk? I'd start thinking about everything going wrong. I'll forget my words, I'll look nervous, I'll sound nervous, I might pass out, the audience won't like it. By the time I've thought through that list of things, I'm smashing up that car running away, not doing the talk. So, the first thing I did to overcome my extreme fear of public speaking is I stopped myself from thinking negatively about it. I started to think about all the positives that could come out of it. I made a list of all the positives of what I could share, how I could make it interesting. I imagined it going well. Look at the other videos on this channel. There are videos about affirmations. There are videos about visualization. In a lot of those videos, I use public speaking and presentations as an example. There is even a playlist which brings together on here, and I'll put a link to that here now, above, and I'll put a link at the end of the video, a playlist that lists all these videos that can help you to overcome an extreme fear or even a slight fear of public speaking and build that confidence. But believe you me, the first step is changing how you think about it. Start thinking about the positive and it going well rather than negative and it going badly and all that might happen. Because when we get in a line of thought, like all that might happen, our brain gives us more and more ideas for what might happen and why it might go wrong and we feel worse and worse and worse. Whereas if we can start thinking positively about it, 
our mind will start to give us ideas of how we could overcome difficulties, how we could make it interesting, how we could deal with anything we're worried about during the process of the presentation. So the key is changing how you think about it and your mindset. And as I say, there's lots of other videos on this channel that can help you. So if you're not currently subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. And if there's a bell notification on your device, hit that as well so that YouTube will notify you when I release a new video. I release a new video every Sunday to help you to massively improve. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up like. Feel free to leave any comments, ask me any questions, and I look forward to helping you in the coming weeks and years on this channel.